Hey my toy friends, it's me Gayla, and today I'm back with a thrift haul. I can assure you this is not just going to be a haul channel, but life has been busy. We've been getting everyone back into school. We've had doctor's appointments, and it's just been crazy. And I just, all I have time to film right now is hauls, and I'm sorry for that, but I will be making more videos as soon as I'm able to, I promise. Not just a haul channel. But today is my thrift haul. And uh, when the week started, I thought it was going to be a teeny tiny one. But I went to America's Thrift Store today and I found a whole bunch of stuff. So I have a lot to show you. We'll start with what I found at Goodwill. Which is just a couple of things. I checked the um, rolling carts where they have the new stuff that's coming out. And I found this little cabbage patch. She is one of the garden fairies. And her name is Casey Tamia. Um, I had a few of these, but none were on their card. And I gave them to Holly. I will try to remember to link her down below. But I've never had one on the card. And I just love her pink and purple colors, so gonna be hanging on to her. I'll probably hang her on the wall next to my cabbies once I get my room situated. That's a whole other story. And then I got one of these ice bags. Um, I call them ice bags because years ago the Goodwill would use ice bags. Like you buy ice from the gas station, they would fill those up and now they're just plain plastic bags. But they used to be ice bags. Um, I got an ice bag, and it had a lot of different things in it. Uh, a bunch of miscellaneous plush, a couple of Beanie Boos, and it had one little Squishmallow cat, um, like a five-inch gray cat. But um, I gave all that to my daughter, and whatever she doesn't want, we will put in the bag to give to the police officer that we give the plush that we don't keep to. Um, whenever we get these bags and they're full of plush, Whatever we don't keep, if it's like a good quality, I will wash them and give them to a police officer that I know to hand out to children. And the ones that are really poor quality, like your Dollar Tree plush, your, um, down here we have Mardi Gras, so we call them parade throws. Just like really lousy quality plush. Um, I'll give those to my dog. Cheapest dog toys you can get. Speaking of dogs, in the bag, what I got for myself was these two pound puppies. And my good friend Ben collects pound puppies, so I'm going to see if he has these already. Um, a lot of my pound puppies came from Ben. Um, a lot of them were his doubles, so we'll see if he needs these. And if not, they'll join the pack over here. The last thing I got was this oven mitt. I mean, it's pretty obvious why I got it. It's pastel, it's retro, it's got nutcrackers. Um, at Christmas time, I got the dish towel from this line with this print, and I couldn't remember if I got the oven mitt or not, and it was only a dollar, so I picked it up, and if I already have one, maybe I'll just have the pair, or I will add this to someone's Christmas gift, since it does still have the tags. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. America's Thrift Store, where I found entirely too much. Uh, let's save the toys for last. Okay. I found a lot today. Usually I don't... I mean, I do find a lot, but not like this. Like, I just kept finding stuff. Um, I checked the movies, which I normally don't do. Um, sometimes I'll skim the TV series to see if there's any that I'm looking for, because... I don't like paying to stream TV series if I can find them on DVD. Um, I've been wanting to watch Mad Men, and I have season one, but I only have one disc. So, I only saw the first half of season one, which I saw the show when it was on, so I know what happens, but I wanted to watch it again. Um, and I'm not paying for the AMC service. But I found, this is season two. And it's still sealed. It was $4, so hmm, not the best price, not the worst price. You know, this thrift store is a little bit higher 
than the Goodwill. Okay, and the other exciting thing I found for myself was The Princess Bride. I've been wanting to watch this, and any of the platforms that it's on, I don't have a subscription to, and I would have had to purchase it, and I didn't want to, so I found it. And I think DVDs are either a dollar or two dollars when they're just a single like this and not a TV series, so I'm so excited. I'm going to make my whole family watch this tonight. For my kids, um, the first thing I spotted was this beautiful My Little Pony DVD. I mean, look at this artwork. I know this is G3, but look how gorgeous. I mean, G1 is top tier for me. Um, everything else is kind of, hmm. But now that years have passed and that we have the later generations, I can really fully appreciate G3. When G3 ponies first hit the scene, I was not about it because I thought it was blasphemy. And it was such a far cry from the ponies that I had and that had been passed down to me from my older cousins. So I didn't like G3 at first, but now I think they're really gorgeous. And this artwork is lovely, and I hope that Melody wants to watch this. Um, I also found this Dragon Tales DVD. There were two of them, but the other one was pretty scratched up, so I just got this one. Um, five Adventures, so... Hopefully, um, the two little ones will like this. We have DVD players in the car, so I'll probably put these in the car. Um, and then I also found Land Before Time for my kids. So, we'll see. I mean, there's a little bit of heartbreak in here, so we'll see. I don't know if they're ready for that. And then I found the Super Mario Show. Um, and of course, this is for Towns, my oldest. He's my gamer. He is all about retro gaming. That is his jam. So he will probably be excited for this. Okay. What else? Oh, Towns also really loves The Simpsons, as do I. Got some of them over there. Um, I've been trying to pick up Simpsons DVDs whenever I find them. And this is season three. We don't have this one. And it was $4 as well. So I thought that was pretty good. I can't remember if this is the season with the Michael Jackson episode. Let me check really quick. I did check to make sure it had all the discs. That's just a... Here we go. Uh, okay, I'm just looking very quickly to see... If this is the season with the Michael Jackson episode, it doesn't look like it. But from what I understand, that one has been banned. I don't know if that's true or not, but I remember seeing something about it. So it was really important to me to find it because I remember watching it on television. This is just a mess. I don't know how to close this. There we go. Okay. I got it back in the box. Thank goodness. I've been getting up at 4 o'clock every morning to get everyone together and out the door. And boy, is it taking a toll on me. Okay. And another TV series that I love, The Big Bang Theory. You can see my Big Bang Theory pops there. This is the third season, and it was also $4. And I did check it, made sure it had all the discs. Okay, on to books. I picked up this Nancy Drew number 21. I don't know for sure if I have this or not, but anytime I find the higher numbers, I will pick them up just in case. Just because um, usually the first four to five are the ones I find the most. Uh, so whenever I find a higher number, I pick it up because I can't remember offhand which ones I have. I need to make a list and like stick it in my car or something. I found a serendipity book. This is Misty Morgan, unicorn book. And I already have um, serendipity and I also have the Stephen Kellogg, the tadpole one I hauled a while back. But this one is a serendipity book. And, um... I'm going to put it with the other one that I have. I got a lot of stuff for Towns. My oldest. He is 11. 
I got him this wimpy kid book. I can't remember which ones he has and doesn't have, so I picked it up. Hopefully he doesn't have it, because I think these were a dollar or two dollars. This is number eight. So we'll see if Sounds has that one. I also got him Captain Underpants, because again, I can't remember which ones he has and doesn't have. So this is the sixth one. It is Captain Underpants and the Big Bag, Big Bad Battle of the Bionic Booger Boy. Part 1. The Night of the Nasty Nostril Nuggets. And then this one. Press start. Game over. Um, he usually gets these from the book fair. These press start books. So I don't know if he has this one or not. So I picked it up. Any of these that he already has. I will put in our neighborhood little free library. Which um, my next door neighbor took over. So. And then I also found this Hot Wheels book. Um, Towns is really into vehicles. He is really into Hot Wheels. Um, whenever we go to the store, we always get a Hot Wheel. He also likes die-cast cars. So, um, when I saw this, I thought he might like it. I mean, it came with a car that's now missing, but that's okay. I thought he'd like that, so. He can tell you the history of Hot Wheels. Um, he hyper-fixates on things. Um, right now it's retro games, vehicles, um... He's really into, like, world history, um, foreign conflicts, and, like, military history. And good for him. He's smart. Um, I get a little lost sometimes, though, I'm going to be honest. I found this car and driver magazine in the magazine section, so I picked that up for him as well. I thought he'd want to look at the vehicles in it. And then I also found another wishbone mystery so I picked that one up because who doesn't love wishbone okay I think that's it for the books and the movies I found in the doll section Cricket's chair now if you don't know Cricket is a talking doll from the 80s that has a cassette player inside of her chest um, and she's quite a big doll I remember finding the doll a while back I didn't know what she was, so I just left it there, um, and then I realized later what she was, and of course she was already gone, so. But I found her chair, and I believe my friend Sydney has a Cricut doll, so I'm going to ask her and see if she wants it, and if she doesn't, then it'll go up in my Mercari shop. I've never seen a Cricut chair. I didn't even know they made those. thought that was pretty neat. Okay. I found a Just Play, Basic Fun, Basic Fun, not Just Play, Basic Fun Care Bear. This is Cheer Bear. We didn't have this one, so I picked it up. My kids really like the new style. I like the new style, too, how, like, cartoony it is, so. Cheer Bear. I always pick up the Care Bears. Got a bag. I knew right away what this was. I have one of these. It's in my shop, but I've been kind of hesitant to lower the price because they are kind of harder to find. This is the Gumdrop Husky Buddy from Build-A-Bear. And I don't see a tag. So I'm not sure what year. But she has a little Christmas outfit that I might save from one of my frogs. My, um... This one. So, that's Frond. But this one is uh, a little harder to find. I can't believe I found two of them. The other one I found at the Goodwill. And like I said, I listed her, but I haven't been in a hurry to drop the price. Um, but now that I have two, I can put the other one on sale and I'll still have one for myself. Because I think at Halloween it will be very cute to have her with my um werewolf i forget what it's called i don't have the moons aglow werewolf i just have the regular one and it's not the older one it's the one from last year his name is wolfie von tooth yeah this is the gumdrop husky either small fry or buddy the small fries and the buddies i mean i think they're just called minis now i'm not sure yeah, she's got little gumdrops. 
foot pads and she's got like purple ombre fur very cute so now i'm excited that i can keep one and then this is just a dollar tree sheep very cute though melody might want that i also got this for towns i was so excited he wanted an eye dog. He watched this video about the history of eye dog and all the different types of eye dogs, um, which I haven't found him an eye dog yet, but I thought he might settle for this, especially since it was from the thrift store. $3. This is Techno. Manly Equest. I, I can't read what it says. Um, and I don't see a year, but it's a Dalmatian. How cool is that? I picked this up. We'll see if he wants it or not. Another bag. This is the Burger King. I think it's Burger King. Quasimodo. Yeah, Burger King. From the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I think he's a puppet. Yeah. He's a puppet. So I picked him up. I'm going to put him in the shop. We'll see how he does. Speaking of Disney, I found these two guys and I was desperately searching to see if there were any more, but I couldn't find any more. We've got the vinyl dwarves. This one's happy and this one is grumpy. So it just says Disney. Disney's really good about not putting their years on things, but I believe these are from um, the 90s. Like I think these are from when I was a kid. So. Not positive, but these guys are cute. I might be hanging on to them. Another bag. This one, I'll just show you through the bag. It's the kids Tupperware set. Um, and we already have a set in our play kitchen downstairs. So I picked this one up to put in my Mercari shop. I know there's probably someone out there looking for that and I don't know if the skillet and the cup are Tupperware but I know the pitcher and the, the stacking cups are so if the other pieces aren't I might just save those for my kids play kitchen and then Bryson um, and Melody are really into the little animals right now the little animal figures dinosaur figures um, so I saw this and Bryson wanted this so we got two lionesses, a lion, and then a white tiger and a cub. So just some animal figures. We picked those up. Okay. And then the last thing were these two vintage dolls. Um, I saw this one first. And I thought she had like an older style face. So I picked her up and checked her out and it said F and B. On the back of her head so I, I don't know which doll she is but i know she is fmb and i would guess 70s or 80s probably um she's got tights and this dress maybe she's like a storybook doll i'll have to see so about mm, 10 to 12 inches very pretty though and she's got sleep eyes i'll get her cleaned up and then i saw this one and I thought she might be another F&B doll, but this one is actually a Madame Alexander doll. And I didn't know who she was, but her clothing is tagged beauty. Um, I'm not sure which character. It doesn't make me think of Beauty and the Beast, but I've got a Madame Alexander book, so I'll see if she's in my book. But I would say 70s on her. Actually, I think she's stamped. Yeah, 76. So, she's got a little dirt on the end of her nose. But I'll get her cleaned up. Um, you know, Madame Alleg Alexander dolls are plentiful. Some of them can be worth a lot of money. A lot of them aren't. So, if this is one that only sells for like $10, I'll probably just keep her. I'm not particularly fond of her outfit, even though her coat is beautiful. Um, I might just sell the outfit and just keep the doll. We'll see. I gotta look her up. But 
I wasn't going to leave a vintage Mal Madame Alexander doll laying on the shelf, especially when she was only $6. You know, maybe I will give her a makeover and restyle her. I don't know. That was the haul. It was a lot of stuff. I appreciate you sticking with me. If you're still here, leave a comment and let me know what you thought, what you liked, if you found anything cool lately. And yeah, let's just chit chat down in the comments. Remember, the world is a better place because you're here in it and you matter. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.